and yesterday by mid afternoon over three hours after the match had ended we were finally able to set a pair of chats with Macau captain Paulo Chang and central defender Lei Kaim players that show up in this picture with keeper O Man Fai all of them play club football for Monte Carlo let's know what they have to say even a cool level added and very experienced Paulo Chang, the captain of the Macau team that plays club football for Monte Carlo even him couldn't be a tiny bit a bit although three hours plus at past when we were able to set up this chat I am very upset that I couldn't lead the team to a win our opponents came to our goal two times they scored in both and on those occasions we were made to pay for two lost balls the fact that the opponents capitalized on two dead balls one free kick and one, free, and one corner also upset the captain although Paul Chang couldn't reprimand these boys we tried our maximum over the last half hour we had many chances but great goalkeeping and luck deserting us ended up settling the score and the captain did admit I have to lead by example now we have to raise our, head, our heads and as captain I cannot dwell on sore feelings let's face Mongolia and play our best as for central defender Lei Kai being a younger guy with less capacity to absorb punch and counter punch he was in shock I would say disbelief and devastated even when we chatted mid-afternoon it has been more than three hours since our match has finished and I still cannot believe we lost the Lei Kai told me it was very unfair and I am lost for words yes he, he was has lost and lose did knock out two balls that the NMI lethal as L capitalized 100% very unfair cried Lake Ayu as for the question what would have been the fair result the one that reflected what has happened in the pitch what happened in the pitch Kaim, no doubts, yes, I do think we should have won the match. Our win would reflect what happened on the pitch. We were better, but no luck. And also good defending and great goalkeeping on their side. Decided the score. And Kaim is upbeat, although he was shocked. His younger nerve prevails and he says that does believe that Macau can beat Mongolia and finish second in the group. One thing is sure, Macau will leave everything, every bit of sweat, every bit of pain, every cry, everything on the pitch on Friday versus Mongolia. We do know it will be like that, Kaim. We do know.